Sun and Chill, 95.7 with Connie and Curtis. 28 degrees right now. Lake, Lake Effect Snow today and tomorrow, 34 is the high today. We have some uh, accidents in West Michigan right now. Nickelodeon, what's going on? Yeah, lots of bad spots out there. Some of the bigger ones, though, between Door and Byron Center. Northbound 131 between 142nd and 100th Avenue. There's a crash there and also in Wyoming, uh, close to us here, 36th Street between Burlingame and Byron Center Avenue. Yeah, all the roads uh, are pretty rough. I am feeling so <laughs> oily right now. Uh, we couldn't find baby oil. We wanted to uh, to uh, grease me up, grease Curtis up, so we could <laughs> do the Curtis version of the Kim Kardashian picture from yesterday. Yeah, so uh, Connie has some cake lotion that uh, I sent. Yeah, well, that stuff is pretty greasy. Let's uh, throw that this on. This is probably the greasiest lotion I've ever had, actually. And now, like, my back and butt are, <laughs> like, very, very moist. Now, I have not seen the picture. Uh, Nick and Connie, uh, Connie was kind of the stage director. Nick was mm-hmm. a photographer. Uh, Connie also got to oil my backside. And I, I did. I appreciate that. That was super nice. So uh, what do you guys think without... Like, how would you describe it to me? I have not yet seen it. It pretty much looks Perfect. almost. What is your hair all messed up for? <laughs> you, were, you, were, you were giving me what? the, the I just rundown. looked at your face for the first time since we took your picture. What happened to your a- hair any, now? Anytime somebody starts giving me a massage, <laughs> this is the look I get. Kind of a oh, must. Uh, kind of a must look. Oh, Curtis. Should I, should I not have gotten that look? Well, yeah. Okay. I, what is this? Is it standing up? There you go. Okay, there That's we go. Better. I that that other hair always kind of throws me. Because it's like Cause the, it what, looks like you just did something. What did you just finish doing? Okay, so you think it looks just like her? I do, and I think we need to, Nick, you need to try and make it the same size as Kim's. You know what I mean? So you can see them next to each other because I think. Oh, like, like Chelsea Handler's problem was she was kind of further away right. in the frame. Yeah, if we, can, if we can make you so you look about the same size. Okay. Because it, you're. I mean, you look just like her. Do you think my butt is the same size as Kim Kardashian's? Now after seeing <laughs> I don't seeing know. It, I didn't look at hers. But you saw a crack. Like, for me, do you think, uh, that, was it a big? Curtis, I wasn't really looking. I think you got bigger crack. Oh, no! <laughs> Where I thought. Because that's the whole reason we did this, because he said her crack was so I long. thought it was so so big. So mine is, is bigger? <laughs> uh, from looking at the picture? Maybe longer, not bigger. She has an outer butt. So you got the long butt. Okay, so I got long, kind of flattish. Yeah, a little pancake booty. Okay, pancake uh, say, booty. What's the uh, what's the timeline here? What's the ETA, Nick? When ETA are you gonna... fifteen minutes. Okay, so by seven thirty, this minutes, thing will okay. be up at uh, my channel. Nick said he thought Curtis's butt broke the computer. He, he was having some <laughs> it issues. Probably did. Well, because you can't just post someone's butt no. in this day and age. So he has to. Uh, uh, I don't know what you have to do. What are you even doing to it, Nick? You're I just... I'm got to make it like so that it's there's layers. There's okay. layers. You got to go between the layers to get to your butt. Okay. So not every little kid is just. You know, okay. looking at Curtis's butt. Oh, we don't yeah, want, we don't want that. We don't want bum lookers all over the place. So my butt is longer than Kim Kardashian's butt, the actual butt part. It very well could be. And you're co- covering part of it with your shirt, so it could have been kept on going. Okay, but she was covering her part too, right? Aren't we pretty much the same picture? Pretty much the same picture. Okay. So I don't know. We'll have to Does it make I'll you have sad? To check it. You well, who it, was mocking Kim's butt? It It surprises me. And like I said, I've never seen my butt. So I don't know yeah. uh, where that surprises me that it is that big. But I guess it makes sense that I would have a big butt. I mean, I'm tall, mm-hmm. so tall people have big butts, probably. <laughs> I don't know. I, I cannot Whoa. wait to see this at 730. Uh, and I cannot wait for West Michigan to is see it. Is this your favorite day here yet, Nick? This is pretty much my favorite day here. <laughs> now, yeah. you your didn't, favorite day ever. You didn't apply any uh, oil to the backside. No, I was manning the camera. And so there was nothing oh, yeah, I could do about sure. it. Sure, I'll man the camera. Well, like he, I can't take a picture. And he said, <laughs> "Oh no, I don't want to get lotion on the camera." And, it and was, then I realized <laughs> that I had my wedding ring on. So yeah. I'm like, Curtis, do you have a dry hand? Take my wedding ring off. I hate putting lotion on when there's, you know, exactly. You don't so, want to get it all gunky. So we got the ring off, and then it was like just two people in a uh, in a bar, maybe in a lounge, <sighs> a hotel lounge. Doesn't well, your body feel good now? It like, smells so good in here. It smells very cakey. <laughs> it smells like a giant cake in here. No, I feel. Like when you put on lotion mm. and then you don't rub it in, and then you put yeah. a shirt on. That's how I feel. Like kind of wet. Because that's what happens. Lumpy. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's exactly that's, what. Because we were trying to make it look greasy as possible. I will have the most moist back and butt. I though. learned a lesson today, though. And what was it? 
leave baby baby oil in our office. Yes. Well, we'll have we to, need bring to get some. some in here. So we'll have to get a uh, another. Because you tube. never know when we want to get naked and lube up. Another tube of this uh, this cake lotion. We'll have to get, and we'll have to get some uh, some lube too, just in case. And I had lube. Why didn't I even think of that? You do. I mean, in the backpack, you never know what's gonna happen. Shut right? up. You do not. It's, uh, friction is not your friend, and that's something that you need to really learn uh, in the radio business. So yeah, you, I got all kinds. What does of, that like, even mean? WD forty. You don't want parts rubbing up against each other. Okay. And it's just dangerous. But I'll it does smell very it. cakey in here. It smells good, doesn't like, it? so good. That's the lotion that I was talking about yesterday that I went on uh, Bath and Body Works. They only sell it seasonally. Okay. And I went on eBay a couple years ago and ended up paying like 20 bucks for that thing. Oh, well. That's the super expensive lotion. And that was all <laughs> over my naked uh, back and butt. Uh, does it feel like it's worth 20 oh, bucks? My goodness. I mean, it's super moist. It is super, super moist. And I love it. Nick, we're, how excited were you when you walked in here and my pants were off and I said, all right, you ready to take this picture? Yeah. <laughs> Real excited. Happy Happy Thursday. Happy now he, Thursday. Now he gets to spend time with it on the internet. All right. We'll let you know as soon as it, it's up and we can have a look at traffic. I'm now. getting all the Wake up. Wake up. 729 at Channel 95.7. Connie Curtis, 28 degrees right now, 34 today. Lake Effect Snow is happening right now, making the drive this morning. Interesting. Nick, traffic? <laughs> Yep, uh, big one. Southbound 131 is closed at 142nd Avenue. Also, it's just really slow on, you know, 96, 196, everywhere. Just take it easy. Okay. Yeah, 131, uh, what, Maria called in and said yeah. uh, there's an accident West southbound. Wi- West River Drive, they're all the way backed up to there. Yeah, uh, 96 and 131, there's an accident, so they're, they're backed up. I just saw the butt picture for the first time. What do you and, think? And, man, I would just like her. It is amazing. Is there any place where it's side by side, Nick, next to her? Oh, yep, I can add that. So, <laughs> what small <laughs> edits? Because otherwise it's just me nude right there <laughs> on our website. Like Nobody really knows uh, what's going on with it, but right. yeah, it's a good look, I think. If you go to our Facebook page, it's Connie and Curtis. We, you can link right there. We uh, can't post the actual picture because right. we'll get booted from Facebook. But we uh, we own our website, so we can go ahead and do whatever we want we on that. We do own our website, don't we? So uh, Facebook, we have the link, Connie and Curtis. Uh, we'll tweet it out, too. And uh, just go to my channel 957com and click where it says Connie and Curtis, and you'll find it, too. Uh, that's a good look. It is a good look. I should be nude more often. Because you never get you're to see. You're kind of nude a lot. But you never get to see. You're you're derobing a lot. That's true. Not necessarily nude. Right. I'm, you like to take your pants off all the time. I'm not afraid to take the pants off. Which I think is a guy thing. I think you're not alone in that. No. I mean, you take them off, you just have a good time. Even little, little boys, bit. when they like pee outside and stuff, yes. I see there's one little kid in our neighborhood who... We have a neighborhood peer as well. Do you? Five years old. So cute. And uh, we've caught him peeing a couple times. Mm-hmm. And we'll say to his mom and dad, you know, uh, he's he's peeing again. And like, are you kidding? Because they obviously <laughs> yell, at, yell at him. But when you're outside, you don't want to go in, right? When you're outside, you want to you wanna be a dude. You want to be outside. Be like one of the animals. You don't want to run inside. No. You want to pee where you can pee. As a girl... I envy that. You wish you could pee outside. I totally wish I could. I'm not peeing in that picture, no. uh, but oh I am God. nude, and I am glisteny. You can see a little bit of the mm-hmm. glisten right there. Mm-hmm. That's a uh, Photoshop would have maybe helped me a little bit. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. like Kim doesn't have any lines uh, or bulges on her body. Do you have, I, I Should be updated at, now. Uh, but yeah, I got, side by side. I got some lines. I got some uh, some different bulges that you see, like some some things that are a little different. Than what well, girl you, body is different than boy body, right? You can't even see her butt there, Nick. We gotta, we gotta get full you on, want full on, full on Kim butt. All right, and then can and you do a split screen where it's Kim, yeah, Curtis? Ah, oh, you needed long black gloves. I did need some. gloves. I haven't even seen the full picture. All I saw was like her shoulders. Okay, yeah, I needed some gloves for it, but I, I think it was, I think it's spot on. I mean. Her hair looks totally cute there, too. And my hair, I thought, looked pretty good in that Your as hair well. after you did this was interesting. Yeah, because I, I, well, I was putting a shirt back on. So that's that's what you see after somebody puts their gel in and then they put a shirt back on. Mm-hmm. That's what you got from me. Yeah, now I, it looks good. It's all I, I was topless. Back to normal. And bottomless in the studio. And I do want to apologize uh, to everyone driving down Ottawa. Uh, who <laughs> Can saw, you see up here? Who saw it? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. when I'm driving in, it's still dark in the studio, okay. so I can't see if you can see into when the I, studio. When I drive here, you can absolutely see uh, exactly what you are doing. I could see you wow. working on your computer because it's still light out. So, yeah, everyone who was on Ottawa or at Rosa Park Circle got a great view of the front. So, looking out the window right now, it's starting to become daylight. Is that 
snow that I'm yeah. seeing out there, or is that fog? That's snow right there. That's crazy. We got snow, we got fog. We November 13th. Over four inches already in Allendale. Uh, Coopersville on uh, 96 there. That is a mess. Like five accidents already have happened. Uh, 131 is slow, even closed down uh, between Wayland and Door mm-hmm. uh, because of a big accident. So it uh, it's not a good day today. <sighs> day sick. one. I know. <sighs> I know. Day one. We have to get used to it again, though. Right. You know, you can't slam on your brakes. You can't follow people as closely as you normally might. Can't drive as fast. Can't drive as fast. Can't go, you know, get on the on ramps at 80 miles an hour. I I almost went off one today. It it will be nice for the hunters, though, because deer gun season starts Mm -hmm. on Saturday. So uh, we've been bow hunting for a while, but now we can use a gun Mm -hmm. and uh, you'll be able to, like, see where they're walking around. You know, the first time that it's had snow on opening gun day in like, what, uh, 10 years, I want to say. I saw that yesterday where if there's snow on the ground, it'll be the first time that that has been like measurable snow since like 2005. Hmm. So, yeah, that's super cool. Hmm. Makes it easier. And it's not supposed to be so cold on Saturday. So you'll be out. Right? It's not going to be so super cold. 36. You take a coffee with you. You got your gun. You're in your stand. You're fine. <laughs> you're fine. You're loving it. Don't people love, love, love hunting season? You oh. just get away and just, it's so pretty. It is. And especially where you get to hunt. Absolutely. You're out in the, the woods. woods. You're oh. in the woods. and uh, I, I couldn't do it. I wouldn't be able to I wouldn't be able to go to deer without crying. Well, then don't kill it. You know? Just take But pictures. I love hunters. Just, Thank you, because I am afraid to hit them. Nick uh, was going to bring us in some venison jerky. How did that go? I actually had it all ready to go for you. <laughs> and? You guys want to know what happened? Yes. Cats got into it. Oh! There was no jerky. No. There was little bits of jerky Well, that's left. because you did not feed oh. them the other day. No, I fed them. They've had food. Wait, it you're not just, feeding your cats? I feed my cats. I just wasn't able to run out and get, grab them cat food, so they didn't let me nap. That oh, okay. Minute, yeah. Okay. They're like, hey, there's supposed to be something in this bowl. So they ate all your jerky? Yeah. Oh. Serves you right. Man, does not. Should have run out and get, gotten their cat food. Should have brought it to us They would have eaten ago. it anyway. Yeah. Two days ago, though, when he was going to bring it, that yeah, that, okay. Yeah, it was pre-cat So do that. you set, that seems like that's something that I would know not to do if I had like a, a bunch of cats or a dog run around the house. I don't think I would just have food sitting out. Well, I hit it. Like okay. I hit it next to my shoes, tucked away uh, with in inside some gloves. Bring a shoe jerky? No, it was it was. I put my gloves. The Note jerky. Note to self: oh. Don't eat Nick food. Wow. Oh. <laughs> All right, so you had it. You had it by the shoes inside my gloves for the day. Inside your sweaty, disgusting gloves. So there's that. <laughs> Oh, uh, Nick was gonna give a shoe. But think and how glove. strong jerky smells. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I could find jerky. I mean, you can hide mm. jerky in this building, and I would find. And it here's in 10 the minutes. thing: Dan and I were talking about this t- this the other day about how sneaky, especially cats are. I mean, dogs. Dogs just go and do they it. They just go and do it. Dogs but cats are, like are so. So we have this picture of Poof uh, when we first moved here and we were renting a house. Um, <laughs> Poof never climbed on counters or okay. tables okay. or anything while we were there. And our neighbors behind us, yeah. whom I love, sent us a picture when we were at my parents for like Thanksgiving or something that year. A Poof sitting in the window no. up high. He had to climb over the kitchen counters to get there. <laughs> and so we were laughing about that the other day about how cats are just so sneaky. Yeah, you don't think that your cat we're like, is like, our on- cat's great. He never climbs on anything. Yeah. And then... Yeah. We don't need the uh, Clorox wipes. The cat never even goes on here. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. The cat does go on there. How'd this hair get up so, in this cupboard? <laughs> Cats don't go yeah. here. Cats. Oh, All right. So if funny. you want to see Curtis reenacting the Kim K picture from yesterday. Here's what we're going to have to do, I'm sure. Uh, it's going to come down at some point uh, once the people at work start coming to work. So You think so? Yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, so you got <laughs> a this. you got a small window of opportunity to check out no, the old bot. Let me read some comments. Oh, we got comments. Julie, what has been seen cannot be unseen. <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> Jeff, for the love of God, why? Okay. Heather, LOL, it's just a butt. Sarah, sweet fancy Moses. I can't unsee. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I gotta like that comment. Okay. Danielle, I want to know if Curtis's daughters have access to my channel 957, LOL, Scarred for Life. They, Kristen, see, they see that from the walk o- from the shower to the bathroom. M G. <laughs> yeah, take a look. I mean, it's And there. then four people like it. It's there on display. Oh, four people like my <laughs> bot. That's perfect. <laughs> Congratulations. Awesome. Wake up. Wake up. Seven fifty and channel 957. Latest from One Republic. I lived. Love the song.
Do I say that every time we play it? Every single time. I love it. I can't help it. It's because it's the truth, right? It is the truth. You know what? We're not loving uh, the roads. Nick, uh, what's going on out there? One of the bigger ones going on right now, westbound 96, just past Plainfield. Uh, There's a crash. Two cars are completely rolled over. Oh. And in... (sighs) Door southbound 131 is still closed between one or at 142nd Avenue. 142nd. Okay, so is there anything happening on M6? Um, let's see. That you have heard about? Lots of lots of being slow. Yeah, we're looking. We're downtown right. Grand Rapids, and I'm looking out the window, and I thought it was super foggy, but it turns out that is snow. It looks like M6 is moving uh, just a little bit slower than the normal. Okay. 131 is pretty slow, uh, both coming into Grand Rapids and going out. Uh, 96 is horrible if you get uh, west of Walker, you know. Okay. Um, yeah, it seems like 131, 96, and 196. Oh, man. The Let worst. winter begin. Here we go. I mean, here we go. We got it. You've I've been, been waiting. <laughs> I've been driving in as it's getting cooler and cooler and cooler every single day and every morning i think one of these days you've man, been begging it's gonna be snowy and we're all gonna have to take it slow <sighs> at least when we come in there aren't a million other people trying to get to work right and luckily there was somebody who was like afraid <sighs> of the snow in front of me today because i came right. flying into downtown and somebody was in the exit lane the exit only okay and i needed to go in i'm like well i can either whip around them and exit too fast but i knew it was Which snowy, is not smart or slow down and get behind them and so i did i was behind him and i still almost slid into the guardrail so it's a, it's a slick time yeah be careful and it wasn't snowing at all like it is right now no when we came in i mean it was just a, a light snow this is this is something crazy and lake effect snow that's what this is happening right now is lake effect snow that it's going to happen today and tomorrow right uh, and then again on sunday already like five inches over by coopersville and allendale so it's just a uh it's good stuff we were seeing the minnesota snow the other day and they got like over a foot oh. of snow and we're thinking oh. yeah do you want that in wow. like minneapolis they had nine inches st paul they had 11 inches <sighs> and then up in uh, marquette Michigan, they ended up with, uh, what, three feet of snow? My struggle every year at this time is that I want to get a snowmobile. And I have wanted to get a snowmobile forever. (laughs) It's my struggle every year at this time. And back when I grew up on a lake with a boat. Okay. And back when I wanted to buy my own boat, everybody said, don't buy your own boat. Just find a friend with a boat. Okay. I said, I love boats. I, I love boats. I grew up on one. You want to be in charge of when it I goes out. I love lakes. I love boats. I will be on that thing every day, especially with since our hours that we work. Right. You know, I can go out. On a Wednesday, if I want to. I don't have to wait for a weekend. Right. And then when I sold my boat, everybody was like, oh, you must be so happy. No. You're sad. So now, every year when it is this time of year, and I'm like, oh. Really want a snowmobile, but then you got to buy two because I don't want to ride with Dan. I, no. want, I want my own. Right. So everybody says you don't want a snowmobile, and I say yes, I do. Right. Everybody said the same thing about a boat, and you love the boat. I love the boat. Well, they I say, have not bought a snowmobile. Though, they say that ever. about motorcycles too. You know where you, right. the, the bad thing about like a snowmobile and a motorcycle is you really have to like find the time to do it, right. and you're totally by yourself. Like right. with with a boat. Uh, you can go boating with some friends, and you can find a place like uh, a sandbar or something and just put an anchor and hang out for the day. With, like, my motorcycle, if I'm riding by myself, right. I mean, I'm just I'm checked out for, like, four hours. Mm-hmm. I'll see it, and I just go for a ride, and then I That's come back I in. Want. Yeah. But back when we used to snowmobile so much, we could snowmobile around the neighborhoods. They didn't really plow back then. Right. You know, so you could be just right yeah. on the road for they, for five months straight. They snowmobile in my neighborhood. Do they do? We got yeah. uh, we got people with snowmobiles, and they, they mostly the kids do it. Right. You don't see the adults. But, uh, yeah, like Friday, Saturday night, <laughs> they're flying. I don't know I if it's legal. I love the sound of that. I just know they're doing it. Yeah. You know, so nobody and nobody calls the cops on them. You could do it in yeah. your neighborhood. But they usually plow a little better these days than they did, right. you know, 25 years ago. So you you can't always have them on the uh, road. I think they plowed my neighborhood one time last winter. <laughs> well, your neighborhood sucks. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Why would, only one time? I don't know. It Do seems, you guys like pay dues and then you have somebody plow no, it, or does the city plow like it? Like the city plows, but it seems okay. like because remember it snowed every day, so it would start. They would start plowing and then it would snow again. Yeah, so, last year we could have done it in our neighborhood too. So they sure. probably were out every day or yeah. every couple days, but it seemed like they never hit it because it snowed every <laughs> single day. <laughs> well, I remember seeing the plow dude in our neighborhood and he was just looking around like where am i gonna put this stuff right. i mean it's already eight feet <laughs> yeah. high the piles what am i supposed to do we we uh, lost we lost our uh, our drains in the road mm-hmm. last winter and i the neighbor and i spent probably two days trying to find them and dig them out as everything was melting right. in like may or march or april whatever month that was and could not find them so he put up uh, flags where they are 
uh, the other day, mm-hmm. but the flags are like three feet tall. I said, do you remember that the snow was uh-huh. 20 feet here? This little three-foot flag is not going to help. And he said, well, you're going to know where it is, and you're going to clear it out as it happens. We're not going to wait till the last day. Dan put our flags up yesterday. But they're so short. I know. That's what I thought, too. Oh, remember, We the, need to double them up. <laughs> exactly. You need, Duct tape. You need like a ladder <laughs> uh-huh. and hanging there, or a big uh, neon sign that uh-huh. says, here is where the, uh, the uh, driveway ends. Make it happen. I think Dan's pretty excited because we actually hired somebody to plow oh. this year. Because w- the house that we were renting, the driveway, it didn't seem very big until you start shoveling. Oh, right. And then you're like, oh my gosh. And this driveway is, it's, it still doesn't seem very big, but it's twice the size oh, of the you last know, you one. Oh, it's big. And uh, we sold our snowblower when we moved back to Michigan, so... We don't have a snowblower. Dan's like, I'm not shoveling this. If this year is like last year, no, I'm just right. going to do it now. And we found somebody really cheap. Awesome. So after he put the flags out yesterday, the dude was there checking out. He's like, thanks for the flags. He was just seeing because what? he knew he might have to be there in the next few days. Wow. Isn't that great? That's some customer service. I know. Look at that. Somebody that the uh, the homeowner before us, before we bought the okay. house, she H- used them. Used. And then we got the flyer in the mail and we're like. Yeah, we'll do that. Wow. We're grandfathered it's into this. way, it's like, um, I don't know, 250 bucks for the whole season or for something? For the whole season? The whole season! Doesn't matter how much snow you get. Wow. Like, and, and, and of course, the snowblower Dan wants is like nine. Right, yeah. You know? Yeah. So I'm like, no, we cannot afford that. Let's just have somebody just do it. Just pay somebody a quarter of the cost and he'll come and do it. Normally, you pay more than, he, than the snowblower. Yeah. That's, it's worth it. That's way <laughs> worth it. That is totally Especially worth to it. Especially to Dan, who... And tends to be the one who's out there shoveling. Now, did he get all the leaves raked? Yeah, the leaves are pretty much gone. Okay, because I was getting some grief yesterday because I had not raked uh, and I had not mowed in a while. So it was snowing at my house, and Katie says, well, there you go. Now we're going to have leaves in our yard in the spring. And I'm like, it's going to melt, and I will be able to get because I need to mulch up all the leaves and use them as mulch around places. I said, I'm not just going to leave them. Mm -hmm. She says, well, what if it snows every day from now until spring like it did last year? I'm like, if that happens, we're moving. <laughs> we're, we're out here. We don't have to worry no. about it. We'll put a for sale sign no, in the yard. No, you're not moving. No, you'll have a great time here. The, I'm taking the kids and the wife, and <laughs> Where we are, you going? are the heck out of here. I don't care. We're just going to drive down. If one of the roads is, is not closed because of traffic accidents, we'll drive south <laughs> and go. No. That's the big the big thing now. Probably that's God tricking us all for living here in Michigan, you know, because they close 131 South. We can't even leave if we want to between Door and Wayland. <sighs> you, there are other ways you can go. Yeah, 196. And everybody's sliding off way. down there, too, by Holland. Yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't I mean, want you can go 94. 94 is a mess. Everything is a mess You can go right 96, now. go to Lansing. Yeah, going to Lansing would be okay. They don't get lake effect snow in Lansing. No, they got nothing. No. I could move to they Lansing. Yeah, just regular snow in Lansing. I don't want to move to Lansing. Nah. I like it here. Like East I, Lansing's pretty fun, though. But I'm, it's fun when you're 20. Right. I'm not 20. <laughs> no, you just act like it. Uh, sometimes, sometimes I do. Sometimes. Do. But you know what? Yeah, if it snows every day from today <laughs> until spring, I can guarantee you I'm moving away Dan from here. says... The next time you decide to uh, get a new radio job, can we go someplace warm? And I go, no, I'm no. not leaving. No, we're not. I'm get- done. I'm not getting a new radio job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just leaving. As long as they continue to pay us every week here, yeah. I am sticking around. Yeah. I'm not leaving. I'm not job hunting. Oh, I'm just fleeing. You, you wouldn't miss the season changes, Connie. Yes, I would. Yeah, have Let's fun. go back to the boat story. Why don't you send me a postcard? <laughs> <laughs> it's fall. Great. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> Connie and Curtis. Con-